WhatsApp Messenger is a freeware and cross-platform messaging and voice over IP VoIP, service owned by Facebook. The application allows the sending of text messages and voice calls, as well as video calls, images and other media, documents, and user location. The application runs from a mobile device though it is also accessible from desktop computers, the service requires consumer users to provide a standard cellular mobile number. Originally users could only communicate with other users individually or in groups of individual users, but in September 2017 WhatsApp announced a forthcoming business platform which will enable companies to provide customer service to users at scale. The client was created by WhatsApp Incorporated, based in Mountain View, California, which was acquired by Facebook in February 2014 for approximately 19.3 billion US dollars. By February 2018, WhatsApp had a user base of over 1.5 billion, making it the most popular messaging application at the time. WhatsApp has grown in multiple countries, including Brazil, India, and large parts of Europe, including United Kingdom and France. WhatsApp Messenger app is free to download for smartphones. WhatsApp uses the internet to send messages, images, audio or video. The service is very similar to text messaging services, however, because WhatsApp uses the internet to send messages, the cost of using WhatsApp is significantly less than texting. You can also use WhatsApp on your desktop, simply go to the WhatsApp website and download it to Mac or Windows you can as well click on the card above this video to watch the steps and procedures to connect WhatsApp via PC. WhatsApp is popular with teenagers because of its features like group chatting, voice messages and location sharing. Update: WhatsApp has changed its terms of service, raising the minimum age at which you can use the service from 13 to 16 years of age across Europe. Under the new EU General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, Ireland has now set the digital age of consent to 16 years old. This means young people under the age of 16 in Ireland are not allowed to access this platform. Growth of WhatsApp WhatsApp was founded in 2009 by Brian Acton and Jan Kum, both former employees of Yahoo. After Kum and Acton left Yahoo in September 2007, the duo traveled to South America to take a break from work. At one point, they applied for jobs at Facebook but were rejected. They start WhatsApp as a small startup and swell to 250,000 users in just a few months, growing so fast that they had to add a charge for using the service per year to slow the subscription rate down. In 2014, WhatsApp was acquired by Facebook and has seen continued growth, reaching the 1 billion mark in July 2017. Using WhatsApp To use WhatsApp you need a compatible smartphone or tablet with a SIM card, an internet connection, and a phone number. The app uses your phone number as its username, and your account is locked to the phone, although you can transfer your contacts over to new devices. Kindly click on the card above to watch the steps on how to install your WhatsApp, steps on how to download and install your WhatsApp via Android. Simply switch your mobile data on and tap on the Play Store icon from your mobile device to open the Play Store window. At the top of the window bar, type in WhatsApp download and tap search. After searching completed, tap the WhatsApp Messenger icon from the list of the searched items and install. Tap install. WhatsApp Messenger will automatically download and install into your mobile device. After the installation, tap open to launch WhatsApp. A WhatsApp welcome page will appear, 
Tap on agree and continue button after you might have done in reviewing WhatsApp terms of service. Select your country, this time around I'm going to select Nigerian as an example. You can as well type in your country above the search bar, this will help and prevent you from time consuming while searching for your country. Type your phone number in here and tap next button, WhatsApp pop-up message will appear asking you that they will verify your phone number is it ok or you want to edit the number. If you want to edit your number tap edit button, but if you don't want to edit your number just tap ok button. So I'm going for ok button because I don't want to edit my number. WhatsApp will send an SMS to you containing a verification code. Pick up the code from your mobile device and type it in here. Note, this only happen if your SIM card is on another phone, but if your SIM card is inside the mobile device you are using WhatsApp will automatically log you in without you enter the verification code. Good. Now set your profile picture, Use the rotation button if you want to change your picture orientation. You can as well resize your profile picture to your desire size by just tap and drag. Tap done. Tap here to edit if you want to change your profile name. Here you can use invite a friend button to invite a friend either from phone contact or gmail. Now you are good to go. Chat with your friends, families, and loved ones, express your feelings by using cool and awesome whatsapp similes. Thanks for visiting Ycone channel, see you soon on our next publishing. Please don't forget to subscribe like and share our videos.